Hello and welcome to my page. If you are new here, my name is Claudia Nari, and on this channel we talk about fragrance layering or various fragrances that are in my collection. Uh, if you are a returning subscriber, I greatly appreciate you. I know I took a little break. I had a lot going on at work. <laughs> so I wasn't on last week, but we're going to play catch up this week. Uh, today's topic is going to be about a Middle Eastern fragrance that I just happened to bump up on and I actually have truly enjoyed them. I only have four of them so far, but um, we're going to get into it. If you've never heard of me, uh, I have an, an Instagram account. That's where I initially started off at is on Instagram. Please come follow me over there. You can follow me on all my social medias. Uh, on there, I talk about what I'm wearing daily. Um, we chat. We just kind of laugh. Uh, if ever I step away from YouTube for a couple of days, I'm always on and active on Instagram. So please come follow me over there. So if you want to hear about Fragrance World. Fragrance World is the Middle Eastern line that I just bumped upon. Then stay tuned. Okay, so let's get into it. The very first one that um, I fell in love with and kind of dropped me down the rabbit hole of fragrance for the Fragrance World's line was After Effect. After Effect uh, is their take on Atomic Rose. Oh God, <laughs> it is a great and amazing copy of Atomic Rose. This fragrance is rum, it's vanilla, it's tobacco, but not a lot of tobacco, and a touch of spiciness from cinnamon. This is an absolutely gorgeous scent. Uh, the presentation is amazing to me. Uh, just everything about it, I absolutely love. So if you want to actually sample Atomic Rose, and for whatever reason you haven't got it into your collection yet, then if you go to Fragrance Worlds After Effect, and I'll have it in the description, uh, where I can find it for you. Uh, this one, I guess everyone has found out about it. It's kind of hard to come by. But Atomic um, is Atomic's Rose or their variation of Atomic Rose. All right. My next one, I happen to smell this on someone. Oh, my God. The one I am talking about is Mocha Wood. Mocha Wood, um, I think they do market this towards men. But this is amazing if you like a good coffee chocolate blend. Because this is chocolate, it's hazelnut, it's saffron, it's rose, it's reason, it's fur, it's food. It's a lot in this fragrance. And of course, you know, I have it listed, the notes listed. But this one here is a coffee bomb. So when I am so looking forward to around when the weather gets a little cooler, I say around September, ish out here in texas i reach for my co uh, my coffee fragrances but this would be the one that i'm going to reach for it is mocha wood and it is gorgeous it's a gorgeous coffee scent all right the next two that we're going to talk about has a resemblance of another fragrance that is really really hyped right and what I'm talking about is it looks just like both of them they look just like good girl I mean, just like Good Girl by Carolina Herrera. But this fragrance that we're going to talk about now is their more aquatic. This is by uh, Fragrance World, and it is an aquatic scent. This scent here is, has, is very simple. It's just fruity notes, it's kiwi, it's watermelon, and it's musk. Let me spray it. Let me find somewhere to spray it. I mean, everything about it. Yes, everything about it looks just like it. And this is where, you know, and it can, it, this can be controversial, what I'm about to say. This is where I feel like sometimes I don't know if one of the, of the major brands, if they go to the Middle Eastern uh, fragrances and they see them and then they make a bottle that looks like it. And then we believe that the Middle Eastern line is actually copying them. I, I can't prove it. <laughs> I can't prove it at all. 
but this is a gorgeous bottle. So if you like the Good Girl bottle, then Fragrance World actually has four fragrances that looks just like this. The two that I currently have in my collection are the ones that we're talking about. This one is called Classic Cheek Girl White. And it is kiwi, it's watermelon, it's musk, and it's fruity notes. Uh, to me, because I spray it in the air, it's more, it is more of that aquatic note when it first opens up and then it settles into musk. So if you're looking for a musk type scent, then I think that this one would be a great one for you to add to your collection. All right, and the next one, we're gonna jump right into it. It is their classic chic girl lemonade, right? So this one here is the lighter version of good girl. So I think that this one might have been their copy because it's a lighter version of good girl because this is a, a lightly noted gourmand fragrance. The opening is tangerine and jasmine, right? So you get this kind of orangey floral note. Then it quickly moves into the gourmand. So you're going to get tonka bean. You're going to get uh, sandalwood, right? That blend. But what makes this one different, and I'm not quite sure, and I probably should have looked it up to see if um, Lanier um, for Good Girl has this thing in it. But this one here has Dulce Leche. Right, so it's like this creamy latonic note, not too milky where it would be sour, but really, really creamy. That's what's in here, and it smells amazing. Outside of the fact that the presentation is absolutely gorgeous, so like I said before, if you like good girls presentation, then you would like Fragrance World's version of it, and it's beautiful. There's a red one, and then there is a uh, is a red one, and then I want to say there's a pink one. Um, I'm not quite, but it's two more. There's two more that I want because I actually love the presentation of Good Girl, so I'm going to probably get the other two, and then I'll make sure I let y'all know about it. All right, so those are the four that I have from Fragrance World. If you have jumped down the rabbit hole of Fragrance World and you know of other fragrances that they have that I probably need to add to my collection, then please tell me about it in the chat. I would love, love, love to know about more of them. I'm slowly getting into this line. Like I said, After Effect is what made me interested in them. And then I just kind of kept going after that. Uh, I always truly love doing this with you. This is my way of talking about fragrances with people who actually enjoy fragrances too. So I am going to end this vlog because like I said, we're playing catch up. So I'm going to try to film as many as I can uh, today. And I will see you in the next video.